You're only young once, but you could be immature all your life. That's, right. That's Bill Green's motto. <laughs> That's why, as you can tell, he was so excited to hear about the Jeep Jamboree, which brings down home people together for off-road adventure. <laughs> Who could ask for anything more, right? <laughs> and there was this World War II journalist named Ernie Pyle. The Jeep comes from World War II. I modeled a lot of my work after Ernie Pyle. He said the Jeep did everything, was as faithful as a dog, as strong as a mule, and as agile as a goat. This American classic is still as much loved as it was by the greatest generation. 175 Jeeps of all makes and models showed up for a jamboree in Bethel. If we'll make our way up, there'll be a series of climbs onto a series of steps. There are 36 jams held in 24 states each year. And it's not about speed, it's about the traction. Well, what do we cover? Probably two miles over a course of six hours. I mean, you know, it's just slow crawling over rocks, through some mud, hopefully, after all this rain we've had. They got their mud and more, testing their suspensions over hill and dale and not so dusty trail. Mark Bancroft has been around Jeep since he was a kid. His is a World War II Jeep with flat fenders. They just made it as, as cheap as they could. Yep. Uh, later on, they, they rounded the fenders over in the front to keep rocks from flinging at the car in front of them. Uh, but <laughs> I like flat fenders, that's what this is all about. Jeeps are immortalized in song as being rough and loud. They ain't no minivan, and that is so true. Try it again. Try to get over more. Each course has a coach. Go, go, go. But veterans like Kyle Lamb think strategizing is part of the fun. I'm trying to figure out whether I can get my right front tire over that rock without driving my windshield into the tree. Sliding is also part of the equation. As for Kyle, he did kiss the tree, but was philosophical about losing some fabric off his roof. It was a pre-ripped spot. <laughs> yeah, you're good. There we go. Now passenger. Winches are used often to get Jeeps out of holes. Most let some air out of their tires to get better traction. This type of fun has been going on since 1953. Owners continue to buy right in. Because they're so fun. I mean, you just go out and crash around in the woods and climb up over things that most people think you can't get over, and, and it's just a ball. Jeeps are designed to take a challenge and carry their cargo of people all the way to the top, most of the time. I think there's a little bit of Jeep in all of us. Get out there and mud it up. Very romantic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to me, that's romantic. Well said. <laughs>